And welcome back to, we're gonna do other things here. We're gonna request door six. There's gonna be a lot of jumping around, you guys might not be paying attention, but we went to the paper thing again. And we're changing to door six. I wanna go through door six. I flipped, opened the paper, and it read June page door six. Of course I've written that. That's a problem. Yep it is. June spoke, barely whisper, and they all knew what she said. These teams will be able to go through the doors they want. Yeah, that's why I w chose the door two before. But yeah. and I chose door one. Lotus and I chose door two. Yeah, that's not enough people to open a numbered door. However, the digital routes don't match up either. Yeah, it's kind of painful. We've got similar eye. problems. June, June, Pei, and I want to go through door six, but our digital route is five. If we're gonna open that door, we need a one. Damn! What are we gonna do now? I guess we're gonna we bend going over to backwards. Sure. Junpei crossed his arms. The best he did and put it in order. The others must follow suit while the results mm. there. Mm. We're gonna get ace, aren't we? Mm. Even though Clover broke the silence. Why don't Seven and Lotus go through door one with me? Okay. Both flash with her voice. That is annoying, but sure. <sighs> And the Lotus looked at each other. It's 19. It ends up being one. First problem solved. What about me? Isn't that obvious? And we go Wasn't with me. One of the teams just complaining that they didn't have a one. You mean I should join Santa's team? Yeah. Yes. Damn it. We'll be with Santa, but yeah. Clever nod. Face and cold emotionlessness. Her attitude and posture couldn't have been more different than the energetic girl a few minutes ago. No one seems ready to contradict her. Her response is understandable, given the horrible situation she found herself in. I understand. I'll go through door six then. Okay. If we do as Clover has suggested, we can all pass through a numbered door and no one will be left behind. This seems to be the most reasonable solution. Maybe. I doubt it. Seven. Door six. Lotus, what do you guys think? I don't have a problem with it. Me either. No, well, I guess you guys were fighting for no reason earlier. See you later. Wait, Clover! Don't move on your own! Oh, I'll be going too then. Yeah, be careful. We need to get we some sort of safety well. ending though. Da da da. At last, Jimpy and the other six managed to separate themselves into two seams. Clover, Seven, Lotus went to A deck, where one was. Supposed to go. Junpei, Ace, and Santa, however, took the elevator to E. Ray was silent. This is E deck. There yep. should be a door at the end of the hall. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have Santa, damn it. Santa jolted into action. They stepped out of the elevator and took into a long, straight hallway. Before we arrive to the door six. Here it is. You guys ready? Yeah. Yep, sure. And let's get to it. One by one, we put our pumps on the red. Sure is electronic sound, authenticate each one of us. The door opened and the four of us leapt into it. Hey! I found it! It's right there! <laughs> This has nothing to do with anything, but yeah. Fortunately, the dead was an easy location. One place in quite close, their entrance. We gathered around quickly and hurried, placed their palms to authenticate one by one. There we go. Uh, <sighs> it stopped. Yes, it stopped. Yep. The countdown ceased and Chippe's heart still pounding in his chest frantically. Thunderdome, he felt as though it might be shaking itself out of his throat. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. That's fine. I'm not fine. sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. That's true. Got that right. Once I'm out of this hellhole, I'm taking a nice long vacation. That's true. <laughs> I agree. With the doom and gloom before us, it's done. The mood changed All sooner or right, later. Let's go. We attempted to get into good humor. To be took a deep breath and began walking. We 
jogged down the stairs to the end of the hallway and found ourselves staring at a large door. This door looks heavy. But it's not locked. I'm opening it. Okay. We held the bars, served the doorknob, and get the shove. The room beyond stopped in its tracks. It's a garment and entire metal, not the accent of wood or tiles he's seen in the rest of the ship. The rooms are purely functional, but utterly tumultuous. Whoa, what the hell is this? I don't know. Santo got out a few words before Oz uh, stole the rest of us. The rest were still stunned to offer any more than a this gas. This has to be the biggest room so far. The ceiling is pretty high, too. Huh. Could be two stories. Maybe even more. Wow. This space could be utilizing the entire length of the ship. What's that would be a huge long ways. Kamaboko looking building in the middle? Kamaboko, what's that? Dune pointed a massive building in the center. Kamaboko? <laughs> well, I guess that's as good of a description of it as any. Junpei and the others stand folded at the seas cross the area. The proper term seemed to be catwalk. Junpei thought through, didn't seem particularly I important. See stairs, so we may as well head over to them. Okay. Yeah, but this section's barely wide enough to fit one person. You're right. Just go one at a time then. Nearby, the long staircase made way eventually into the floor beneath them. Whoa, you can't even tell the shape when you're this close. Let's check out the other side, too. Okay. They moved towards the opposite side of the massive building and walked along the catwalk. They still haven't seen as much as they walked, but they approached the building. Ace suddenly spoke up. This looks to be the steam engine room. No, okay, it's weird. Room? Yes, that thing that looks like a cross section of a mushroom is the boiler. Do you really? see the three round doors near the bottom? Coal is okay. put into those and burned, which heats the water, producing steam. A little weird that you the know. The same all thing this, that drives the steam crazy. Engine. This one is simply somewhat larger. I see. It doesn't appear to be running right now. Entire room went silent as gray. Alright, let's split up. And suddenly, Jimpy heard a noise behind him. He turned before see June clasped her knees. Hey, what's wrong? Are you alright? Is she just passing out? He dashed towards her and wrapped her around her. Him, her uh, <clears throat> wrapped his arms around her shoulder and steady. Hey, June! Then he Jumpy. noticed. You, oh, you're you're really warm. So she has Is a your fever. fever. Coming back. Yes, he, yes, it probably is. No, oh, we'll just keep moving. I'm you fine. can slide down. Please, don't worry about me. <laughs> don't do this shit to me. To rest. And I'll be fine. Just watch her, like send her something. Her voice is weak. It's forest it is a great deal more than her words okay, did. Okay. Uh, here, sit down. Uh, careful. Jimpy carried her to the nearest wall and popped her up against it. He'll, she let her head fall down against the wall and she no longer had strength to support it and drew into ragged breath. Thank you. Her eyes were empty as she was having trouble focusing on them, even speaking with some difficulty for her. Jimpy felt her felt his hand fall its fist clenching his knuckles widen. He had to find a way out quickly. He turned and looked to Ace and Santa. Ace, Santa. Yes. Right. They might not share the depth of emotion, but they certainly share right. concern. Let's get started. Hang in there, June. I'm gonna get you out of here real soon. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. She met a small knob before leaning back. The rest ahead of the wall. Well, we got a sheer load of stuff to do here. Yeah, this is gonna be a big one. Okay, back we go. Tunnel goes the way across the ship. 
I'd say this is probably more for Cole to be placed in. It probably comes over there, and then the bill can carry it down to the tunnel there. So it's convenient to move it. Yes, the coal is almost certainly coming right here. Until they're going up to the ceiling. Anything here. Look at this button, it's glowing orange. It means something. I guess pressing is the best way to find out what it's doing at the same time. Nothing. We need these card slots there. Four square holes, nothing there. Looks like the back wall. Three holes, terminal is something connected perhaps. You mean to think we're supposed to plug something in here? Probably. Anything from any of this. That's fine. Uh, this is where the coal is from the furnace, that's right. I had a look earlier, they are just running to shut down for it. Perhaps we should check the other side. Bunch of wooden boxes over there. I already looked through those, there's nothing there. Bunch of barrels, unfortunately they're empty too. Uh, here's what kind of snowman secrets meet. They're just figs full of sand. We use them as counterweights when you lift something of a pulley system. Oh man, are you serious? These are a pair of one boxes over there. There's nothing in them. Great. That's right. And this gear is rusted. Pretty sturdy though. Silver gear. You think it's made of pure silver in the way? Silver is way too soft for a gear. It's just got to be steel and iron or something with silver coating. Uh, it shouldn't just be a silver gear. You shouldn't get your hopes off. When you think about it, it's holding back things. No, I think something's probably gonna carry it, don't you think? Anything from any of this. Oh, he's clicked off again. I'm bad at that. What's this? In the placement, you must unlock a door to the left. It's a weird indent on top of it. it means something to insert it. Imagine so. It's like a super weird iron door there. I think this is. Yes, it looks like the exit. It looks like the door slides into the ceiling. Okay. Come on. Anything else here? Not really. Chimpy, you can't believe you missed something important. What is it? Look at those stairs. Very carefully, guess the length, the angle. It's perfect. Perfect for what? Whatever. Just bring Clover right now. Tell her she needs to walk up and down those stairs. Clover's not here. What the hell are you two talking about? Apparently, they're perfect for something like high heel shoes or something. Slide up and down. I guess Ace feels like you're gonna try it. Nothing. They won't move. Uh, it's in greater number. I suspect it meant something rather special there. Uh, Junpei, why doesn't it move the slider? It's not harmless to the post. Nothing. Nothing. We need perhaps something. You're saying we did something that somewhere else it would be sponsored. Oh. In fact, to put it that way, there's two columns of each of these and red lights there. So this looks like a furnace thing. Oh man, no dice. Damn, nothing. Won't even budge. Anything for any of this. Okay, we're kind of in a weird mode. This place is really big though. Open the door of the furnace. It's A. Circle on the door. Alright, let's give it a twist. Oh my god, noise again. It's open. It's totally pitch black. Should we go in? 
All right, let's do it. Looks like just the door went in. Where were we? We must have been on the other side. Which puts us strictly in the fair belt. At any rate, we should keep moving. It's great he'll investigate yet. Anything? Let's see. One box hanging on a catwalk. It's one of these great metal rip ships. I think Joan is resting underneath this. Maybe the extract she is kind of left. Nothing strange about it. I guess it's not really important detail. Anything we should just direct above the corner conveyor belt here. Looks like it's hand operated winch. Doesn't look like anything to operate it. Doesn't mean the wheel is attached. Okay. Health boxes. You're being super lazy to me right now. It's just rusted and it. Right, this looks like there's something in the box. Well, that's fun. Is there any way we can go further over? No. Okay. Oh, the furnace. Let's see. Can't walk over there. We need a narrow strip. You may be brave enough to cross it. If all you realize you'll break a bone or at least through problems. Uh, we do have to get to that other door though. So we went to see Catwalk. Can we do anything with these boxes? Catwalk, I don't see anything over there. Great. Look at this pipe. It's connected to the bottom of the conveyor belts. Must be where the call comes out of into the conveyor belt. In other words, we must be a great deal of coal in the pipe. Same back, there should be something on the other side of these boxes. You have extreme memory, use the map to draw in your head, we won't get lost. Anything here is supposed to brace itself inside. It's not a ladder. There's a whole bunch of boxes there. Oh great, I'm just clicked again. I can't do anything here, can I? Winch the other side, I saw earlier. The one with wheel. Well, let's turn the wheel then. What's this? It's weird. I don't feel any resistance. Oh shit. It broke. It didn't break. It just broke itself. The wheel is now in our hands. Let's give it a try back up. Post a couple back. Post on the back of it. Looks like there's a few wrenches, it's not good. A little too small for the holes. It's throwing a hot dog in the hallway. To be honest, that's a weird analogy. I guess it's that kind of case. This wasn't the rear wheel for that. Perhaps we need another wheel for that wench. I keep worrying that something's gonna jump out and scare me because of that would suck. We'll see that we want. Now let's open this one then. There's some wheel to turn. Oh, I got a wheel to pull up and let's see if it fits. But it's weird that it fits on the, this one perfectly. No shake at all. We should be able to turn the wheel now. Good work, Jumpy. Now we should be able to pull up the box and see what's inside. Under the catwalk, I guess. Pull it up from the rope. Looks like it's pretty sort of device in the box. I'm not sure what it is. I think we might turn the wheel and get it now. I'm kind of on you. Turn, please. What is it? What's happened? The wheel is only turning left. Turning left. Which means we can't reel it up. Yeah, we can only let it down. Not interesting. I don't think that will be a problem. We simply need to go downstairs to let the one down. I'm kind of on you, Jumpy. You're no sweat. Da -da 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 -da. 
I believe the box has reached the floor. Yeah. He stuck out his head over the catwalk and looked down. The back was only recently hung before the catwalk and come to rest in the tunnel. Of June's Fairfield. down over by there. I could see her still lying against the wall. She barely strapped and strength to sit up. Even from where I could see, there's no difficulty seeing she's not proving. I almost thought he almost thought he could see her heart racing her body. She doesn't seem to be improving. Exclaiming in inscribulous, he said what they had all well, been thinking. Not. She's not gonna just get better right away, you know? It'll take time. He tried desperately to convince himself what he was saying what was true. What could be true. causing this, I wonder? Illness, perhaps? Nah, it's gotta be exhaustion. Maybe. Sent to respond in confidence of She gets dropped into some weird-ass ship, forced to play some messed-up game. If you think about it, it's a lot weirder that we aren't freaking out just like her. You know? So you're saying we're abnormal? Yeah, we're yeah. all abnormal. It's a play. We're just running around this room, solving all these puzzles like it's just business Let's as usual. Let's do how the hell could you call that normal? We're just yeah, that's a good question. Pigs. Yeah. Santa started in disgust. You mean like a lab rat? You mean we're being used for some sort of experiment? Maybe. Is that what you're saying? Dunno. But it does seem like a possibility, you know? Okay. It took a few moments. No one spoke until Santa turned and walked away and went to pay an ace fall to him. Why are we talking like in third person? I thought we were talking first person before. Well, let's get back down. Okay. Let's get down here. Don't jump scare me. Control panel for something. Well, that could only be one place, right? Three holes. There we go. We did it, everything. Looks like it's alright. You know what do we do? Why don't we press the button next? The orange one? No, the red one. Alright, we'll do that. Push it. It's late enough, sort of. Yes, I do think I hear something turning. Oh, what's that? What's happening? Pay a look at the conveyor belts moving conveyor belts. Okay, nothing. Guess it stopped. There's still a bunch of coal in the belt thing. It looks like a bunch of dumped off at the end of the belts into the wooden box where we had the control panel. Coal, coal. Still some left. Guess it's one thing. Suffer. Okay, I'm kind of low energy today, and I'm sorry about that. Is this a gold wheel bronze? Might be important. What was that? This has to be important. Okay. Gold wheel. Like the. It should always look like this. Imagine if it's perhaps especially. Special to this game, it's a gold. What is this one? Huge silver one. It feels like it's important. Bunch of holes for coal in, right? If we get some coal, we can fit it in the fire. Let's do this. Alright, that's lots of coal. No more coal in the box. That's great. Guess we should expect that. Why would just throwing coal in the harness make it go? Man can dream. Chippy, let me explain it again. We're planning to stock the furnace with coal, which will heat the water stored in there to make steam, which will drive something. Is it correct? In other words, we gotta generate some pressure to make sh the steam into turbines, driving the steam engine right. I guess that's the gist. Right then, in that case, this isn't enough coal. Furnace is enormous. We're gonna need a whole. A lot of coal for this. Well, very well then, the three of us gotta get to work then, we should manage it fast. I'll help too. Man, I totally don't see her walking off there. Are you feeling alright? Yes. Right. 
It looks like you just stiff breeze away from falling over. Then don't work, June, please. I think you're better off resting, all right? No, no argument. No argument, you need to rest. Just stay there and we'll handle this. Okay, I understand. All right, it's time to work. This is for man's work? Jeez, whatever, man. Let's get the coal into the furnace. More like healthy work. Did we do it? Man, that's a lot of work. I think this should spice. All right, now let's just light it up. Do pay a handy a match. What makes you think I have a match? I see that how we're gonna light it. Perhaps the device near by will allow us to remotely ignite it. Let's take a look then. Some sort of ignition device. Yeah, I know what I'm gonna go for that one. Okay. Use bronze wheel. Might be important. So there's two silver wheels? That feels weird. Lighting me up, please. This might be it, perhaps. I think this is how we'll ignite the furnace. You mean it wants one more this lever down? Let's do it. Here we go. Good pace, look. It's the big gears turning under the boilers. That's a cool effect. Ooh. Those are good. The gears are spinning. What the hell were you guys waiting for? Let's start looking. Yeah, that looks like an important piece of information there. Okay, silver disc. We're gonna have to sort these out. Gold disc. How are we gonna do these then? That's gold disc, bronze disc then, please. Bunch of three lines, red, black, and that. Standing out. There's numbers engraved on it. Make out three different colors. Wonder what they mean. Okay. Uh... Hey, look. Nope. Okay, whoa. Nothing on that one. Nothing on that boy. I remember the discs here. Do you remember where we found it? Yeah, I think it's on top. Why? I think just thinking. So we got a top for that, left for gold. And bronze is right. Right? Well, this was found. I don't remember where you found it. Bottom left. Okay. Interesting. It's the same everywhere. No, they already have it pretty easily here. Three layers, maybe we put the three discs in here and we'll find a way out, I think. Oh, it's not even gonna let me do it. Okay, odd. Nothing's happening. Maybe you didn't put them in the right place, perhaps. They're facing the wrong direction. Perhaps we should rotate them to make the lines connect to other. Yeah, no harm in trying that. Instructions, click the disc, and it'll rotate a certain amount. Use the white or switch the disc around. Note that switching the disc, the ingrails will the disc will reset. Swap those. I think we swap these. Silver was definitely on top. Oh we get red. Awesome. Red lines there, maybe I can make up a star polygon with these. There we go, easy enough. And just in time, too. Yes, the door's open. And we'll call it there. Uh, I think we'll save this on seven. We're gonna 
waste a lot of these boys right now. Actually, yeah, let's do this in seven. Okay, well you guys, take care. Hope you have a great day. Hope to see you guys next time. Peace.